That's what we call it. But not only that, it's slightly wider below the equator than above the equator. A little chubbier. A little chubbier. Yeah. Chubby's a good way. It's like pear-shaped. Yeah. So <laughs> it turns out the pear-shapedness is bigger than the height of Mount Everest above sea level. When you go Mach 3, the amount of heat that the whole airframe, everything experiences all this heat, and nothing that they have at the store works. You know, there's no paint, no rubber, nothing. You know, metals, uh, plastics, all, all this stuff is useless. And they just had to go through so many contortions to, to make every single part of the plane tolerant of these extreme temperatures. Temperature affects everything on this airplane. The average person probably is not cognizant of that fact. But the faster you go, the harder things get. One of the puzzles of extreme heat was never really solved. Sealants for the fuel tanks. They never came up with a polymer that would seal the joints in the skin panels that hold the fuel in. So the blackbirds sit on the ground and weep. That seems silly. You can look, oh, these stupid guys back in the 60s didn't know what they were doing. There's still no plastic, you know, that can get to 700 F and not turn into a burnt hot dog. International Space Station, can't you get a photograph that has all these little dots that should look like lice all around the, the Earth's outer atmosphere? That's one issue, but also the temperature. They tell us the thermosphere is 2,000 degrees Celsius. Well, what metal is going to be able to withstand that kind of heat? What computer can can survive in that environment? Yeah, that's right. Those are two more good points for why satellites... Well, we shouldn't just assume that these things exist just because people say they do. Uh, you know, if you want to... If you want to be scientific and you want to be a, a real skeptic, uh, you want to be cr a critical thinker, then you should only accept things that you can verify with your senses and with evidence yourself. So, you know, people think it's crazy to believe that satellites don't exist. But really, it's crazy to believe that satellites do exist when you have no evidence and can never verify it for yourself. Just like these space programs and space telescopes and all these other things that we will never confirm. As far as we know, if I go up on a plane and I jump out, I'm coming back to Earth. doesn't matter how high I go. I'm not going to start floating at some point like they claim happens um, and has to happen if there are satellites out there. But as you said, if you look at the pictures of satellites and the pictures that these satellites are supposedly taking, they're all CGI. The satellite itself is 